Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take the word moisturizer, lotion, cream, serum, essence, lifting, creme de la mer, idealist. I want you to Olay Regenerous, Definity. I want you to take all those words and forget them. They don't exist. They don't exist. Those words tell you nothing about what you're putting on your skin. Nothing. What counts is what the product contains. And what these products should contain to replace what you've lost because of sun damage are the following. The number one thing that we know the most about is antioxidants. There's no question about it. The research is now there that a diet high in antioxidants and omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids makes a difference in the health of the skin. Antioxidants on top of the skin make a huge difference in the appearance of skin for many, many reasons, but primarily because they stop free radical damage. They prevent oxygen pollution, not prevent, reduce oxygen and pollution and sun from doing a cascade event that causes breakdown in the skin system. So antioxidants are wonderful. They're wonderful in products, and there's hundreds of them. Some of them with names you recognize, right? All these nice little plant extracts. But there's also dozens with names you don't recognize. Here's what I want you to stop doing, separate from forgetting those names of products. I want you to let go of the search for one great ingredient. When Estee Lauder launched Creme de la Mer back in 1994 or 95, there was this incredible hoopla about this Dr. Huber, Huber who was, had burns and did 6,000 experiments and came up with this concoction, and his scars went away. And this product, this fi it was the most expensive launch of a skincare product at the time, which is probably why it got so much press at the time, and worldwide, everybody wanted it. All it was was algae, mineral oil, and thickeners. Pretty much that was the formulation. So you were supposed to believe this algae was the best ingredient ever made for getting, you know, 500 bucks, how could it not be? My first question is, if this is the best ingredient for skin, and Creme de la Mer is an Estee Lauder corporation, how come Clinique and Prescriptives and Estee Lauder, and today Aveda and Bobby Brown and whoever else they own, aren't using algae in their products? If there's a best, then use the best. What it turns out is that you can stop chasing those stories because there isn't a best. There are lots and lots of great. Think about it like your diet. If you just ate broccoli, you would die. You would not be healthy. If you just drank green tea, if you just ate pomegranates, pomegranates a great antioxidant, you wouldn't make it very long. It absolutely doesn't help to get trapped in the one ingredient is the miracle ingredient for skin, because it isn't the truth, it doesn't exist.